All right, guys, how's it going out there? Rooster here in Tennessee. Just going to be one of these uh, test videos, experiment videos, FYI videos. Maybe we can all learn something. Maybe I'll learn something. Uh, just going to do an experiment today, testing uh, peak power versus average power. And the way we're going to do that is we've got two radios sitting in front of us. Uh, one is a single final unit N76 that has been tuned. Uh, Philippines made 1969 final single final radio we will show the output of it and then we have the old faithful connex here 3300 hp dual final 1969 it does about double the average power as the unit 76 now both radios interestingly enough if you hook them up on a true peak power reading meter they will show around the same peak output or pep power uh, if you put them on an average power reading such as the bird in the background with no peak kit turned on, this radio will show about double the power. Now, why that matters is if you don't have a, or a meter that reads accurate average power, you may or may not be overdriving your amplifier. Uh, average power can be kind of the secret killer um, of, of amps and stuff if you don't have a meter that reads it act, uh, uh, accurately. Excuse me. Also, we want to see that if we have two radios that theoretically do identical peak power well one of these radios does more average does that mean it will get out better than the other one does it mean anything uh, lots of discussion about average power some people do not run peak power rating meters uh, myself being included on my base whether I'm on my ground plane or my beam I do not have a meter in line that reads peak power uh, as a matter of fact if it wasn't for doing YouTube videos and giving people a reference, uh, I wouldn't even use a peak power meter. Uh, so, that being said, how we're gonna conduct this test, each radio, we will show the output of it, peak and average. Each radio, we will test on the clamp meter to make sure that it's, uh, to see what kind of current it's drawing. 14.9 volts, what we're testing at, by the way. And then each radio, we will do an on-the-air test and put the camera in front of the ICOM and see what kind of signal we're getting. Now, both radios will be transmitting from the same dummy load that's in the same position. It's over here uh, under my desk, and it is a bird, uh, bird dummy load. So that will be what we're using for an antenna. Uh, dummy loads obviously don't have, they don't radiate a lot of strength, a lot of field strength, they're not a very strong antenna. So basically using the dummy load will simulate uh, as if we were uh, talking to a local station and he just switches radios. Um, we, we shouldn't be putting a gigantic signal on our uh, our base with the, with the dummy load there. Uh, we've done some tests like this in the past and it actually works out pretty well uh, to simulate a station that's, you know, um, has a little bit of distance away. So, that being said, we will start with the Connex and get the ball rolling here. We're going to do output, current that it draws, and then we'll do on the air and see what kind of signal we get. Okay? So, first things first, let's just give it a good audio here. Audio, audio, audio. So, we can say about five amps worth of current being drawn with the Connex. Average power. Audio. Three watt dead key, 20 watts average. And this is going to be peak power. Audio, audio check. One, two, one, two, three. Audio check. One, two, one, two, three. Audio check. One, two, audio. Just past 50 watts PEP. Now, we could use another slug, not going to. I can go ahead and tell you guys, this thing reads about one watt tighter on average power and about three to four watts tighter on PEP. So uh, that's the reason we're just gonna roll with one slug for each radio. We don't wanna waste time doing something uh, if there's no point in it. So I'm gonna pause the video. We've got our test here, 20 watts average, let's say 50 to 55 PEP, and then uh, five amps of current being drawn with the Connex. Now we will go to the on the air test, and after that we'll move on to the unit in. I'm gonna pause the video, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are. We're on channel 22. The preamp is not turned on. The attenuator is not turned on. 
gonna go in here and jump on the Conex and uh, get this on the air test done. We'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back in action here. We've got our uh, Uniden 76 XL hooked up and we will go through the same motions with it. We'll uh, test the output of it, uh, test the amount of current that it draws and uh, yep, do the on the air test and see how it stacks up. So let's go ahead and just throw a dead key. Okay. Hello. So around 3.2 amps uh, worth of current consumption with it. Middle scale, average power. There's our three watt dead key we're looking for. Oh, oh yeah, and about 11 watts or so average. Talking around 10. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. And then PEP, or peak power. Hello, audio. So there you go, right around 50 watts PEP with the right audio. All right, let's pause the video and uh, get the signal test done on the Uniden 76. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we had to change frequencies. Had a local uh, decided to audio on channel 22, so. Uh, we have moved up to channel 24 or uh, 27235. So I'm going to uh, jump on the uh, unit in and get the uh, signal test done. We'll be right back. Website roostercb.com. Catch you guys out there. See you bye. 